since every person has his or her unique pitch or frequency same way every musical instruments has its own frequency okay there are variety of musical instruments some are wind type some are string type okay now i am going to discuss one by one <clears throat> now first one is wind type instruments in wind type instruments like flute there is an air column okay here this is the diagram of a flute and uh, from here to here okay along the length of the flute there is a air column okay and uh, the wind instruments are provided with number of holes okay and uh, we can change the length of the air column by closing these holes using fingers okay and the change in the length of air column changes the frequency of the sound produced by the instrument okay and it is seen that the frequency of the sound is inversely proportional to the length of the air column when the length of the air column increases the frequency of the sound decreases and vice versa okay now i am going to show you an activity that will help you to understand this relation that is the frequency of the wind type instruments is inversely proportional to the length of the air column okay here i have two pipes of different length white pipe is a smaller than the blue one okay since the length of the air column is equal to the length of the pipe so this white pipe has a smaller length of air column than that of the blue pipe okay now i am going to produce sound from each of the pipe and we will see that the frequency is inversely proportional to the length of the air column it means the sound produced by this white pipe will be shrill okay and the sound produced by this blue pipe will be flat as compared to this one okay now listen and now from this so we have observed that uh, the sound produced by this smaller pipe was more shrill than that of this larger pipe okay so the sound produced by this smaller pipe was of greater frequency than that of this pipe why because this pipe has a smaller length of air column than that of this pipe okay now come to string type instruments in string type instruments like sitar guitar etc the frequency of the sound produced by the instrument is directly proportional to the tension in the string and also inversely proportional to the thickness of the string okay so the frequency depends on two factors or two quantities one is tension in of the string and thickness of the string okay all string type instruments are provided with number of strings with different tensions and uh, thickness so that by vibrating different strings a player can change the frequency of the sound okay now i am going to show you an activity 
so that you can uh, understand this relation in string instruments the frequency is directly proportional to the tension in the string and also the frequency is inversely proportional to the thickness of the string okay now come to the first relation frequency is directly proportional to the tension okay i have here i have a, a rubber band okay now i am going to stretch a little and uh, try to produce sound listen okay now i am going to stretch more okay now listen the sound okay so when the tension is less the sound was flat but when tension increases the sound becomes shrill okay listen okay so we see that the frequency is directly proportional to the tension in the string when tension increases frequency increases okay now come to the second one frequency is inversely proportional to the thickness of the string now for this i have two strings or two rubber bands one is thick other is thin okay now i am going to produce sound from both the rubber bands okay now observe this is the thin okay now listen the thick rubber band okay so which one was shrill the thin one okay so when the thickness decreases the frequency increases okay so this is also verified that the frequency in the string instruments is inversely proportional to the thickness of the string okay you can also do this activity at home to check the variation of frequency with tension and thickness of the string okay